subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello guys, this is N. P. Chan. Welcome to my mathematics class. Let's see the today's topic. Uh, today's topic is a group, finite and infinite group, order of group, trivial group, abelian group. This topic I have taken from grade 12 book uh, from elementary group theory. This is a very important topic, uh, although this is the basic. Today I am going to tell you what is the group and uh, types of group uh, according to the okay, uh, number of elements uh, of a group and then order of group and uh, what is uh, trivial group and uh, abelian um, group. Uh, this is the basic topic, okay? And today we will know the basic things about the group. This is a very important topic. Uh, uh, it is used, okay, uh, in higher mathematics as well as in various uh, subjects uh, in higher studies, right? So today let's know what is the group. And the group. <coughs> now I'm going to explain. Uh, let okay G be a non empty set. This is your non empty set. I take an okay and uh, let's suppose this is the operation. Any operation, right? So, any operation I have taken G is a non empty set. O stands here. Any operation and uh, G O means okay. And this stands your algebraic structure. This is called your algebraic structure. Okay, binary operation. O is your operation. We can say the binary operation. Uh, binary operation. Algebraic structure. This is called okay, set together with. Binary operation is called um, you know, algebraic structure. Okay. Now this, this set, okay, the set G is called, okay, your group, is set to be group, right? If it satisfies the group axioms, there are four group axioms, if it, uh, if it satisfies group axioms, group axioms, so what are the group axioms, let's know, okay, group axioms. Uh, yeah. So we have four. One is closer. Number two, associative. Number three, identity axiom and associative axiom and identity your axiom. And this, and the next one is your inverse, inverse property, or you can say the axiom. So, if a set, if any non empty set, okay, under any operation, under binary operation, you can say so only simply if we ignore okay, this one, close our axiom, then we need to say any operation satisfy these axioms, which are known as a group axioms. And we have a four closer axiom, associative axioms, identity axioms, and inverse axioms. If set satisfy these all four axioms, then we can say uh, the set forms a group. Okay. So let's know what is the closer axiom. Right? Let's suppose okay, uh, for any a comma belongs to G. We have supposed to get G B any okay non empty six A and B are the elements of I've taken here any two elements A and B are any two elements of for G or then A operation B belongs to G then we can say operation is closed yes set is closed under this operation and uh, it satisfy okay. Operation satisfy the closer axiom we can say. So A operation B belongs to G. So let me explain in a very simple way. Means after applying an operation in any two elements of a G, right? Is also again the element of a G. Here important thing, okay. After operation, you are getting the element of a G. 
then this is called your closure property, closure axiom, right? Here we can say the operation going to satisfy closure axiom, all right, under, okay, on the set G. Clear everyone? Let me dig okay one. Suppose, okay, here it belongs to your animal kingdom. Let's suppose, okay, animal kingdom, okay. Let me explain in a very simple way. Animal kingdom. Animal kingdom. And B also belongs to okay your animal kingdom. And then it B or uh, suppose okay, O is an operation okay. A operation B again okay. You get any element okay, any other okay. A operation B if you get okay, uh, if it belongs to animal kingdom, then B can say the operation is closed on the set of animal kingdom. If you get suppose okay. A operation B belongs to any suppose okay board and uh, board kingdom okay let's suppose okay let's suppose okay board kingdom and then and then okay then this operation is not closed okay all right so if you are taking any two elements from animal kingdom suppose let's suppose and then after applying the operation new product should belong Mm, the same kingdom then you can say the operation is closed here also okay i have taken a and b okay from g means a and b i need two elements of a g after operation element again belongs to g that's why this operation is called your closer axiom right closer closer property and this operate this axiom is known as a closer axiom it's if okay so in a group okay if you if we, if if okay g forms a group then definitely the operation is closed on the set g right operation satisfy the closer axiom closer property so i don't think now you have any problem about the closer axiom uh, so a b so any okay for any okay for any two all right uh, a b belongs to g then a operation b should belong to g right then we can say closer axiom is satisfied this is a closer axiom and associative axiom we need okay three elements okay for a b c belongs to g right any three you can choose then a operation b operation c is equal to a operation b operation c if this relation is satisfied, this is, then we can say the operation satisfy the associative axiom, right? So in a group, okay, this operation is also satisfied, right? And then, okay, third, okay, identity axiom. So what is the identity axiom? Means, okay, for all, okay, let's suppose, okay, for all, A belongs to G, or you may write down, okay, it doesn't matter, okay. For any A belongs to G, there exist, if G is, okay, uh, group, there exist E belongs to G, such that A operation E is equal to E operation A is equal to A. And then E is called, okay, is called, identity element is called identity element right for any a belongs to g right or uh, there exists it belongs to g there exists okay there is definitely one element in g such that a operation e is equal to e operation a is equal to a then okay e is called your identity uh, element okay if this operation is this okay axiom is satisfy the group then we can say group satisfy the identity axiom right identity axiom okay this should be satisfied for any set to be um, group okay uh, this is identity so let me tell you again okay if i write down okay here a ram operation sham ram operation sham is equal to Ram, right and then here we can say sham is identity element right sham is your identity element if i write down here okay david operation marry and then is equal to you are going to get okay david 
then okay, this is your identity element of okay, right? And if I write okay, x operation y is equal to x, <coughs> sorry, then here y is called your identity element, okay, identity element. If I write down here, okay, m operation n is equal to n, then m is called your identity element, okay. So now you understood, I think, okay, identity axiom, all right. And now let's see the okay, next one, okay, in boss axiom, okay, for every a belongs to G, there exist in boss belongs to G such that A operation in boss is equal to A in boss operation A is equal to E. E mean <coughs> identity element. Right? And then this inverse is called <coughs> inverse element of A. This is called your inverse element of A if this relation is satisfied. So for every A belongs to J. So in a group, we find out okay, uh, every element has its own inverse. Okay, every element. So this way I have written, okay, for every belongs to G, there exists inverse belongs to G. So this element also exists in G, such that A operation inverse is equal to inverse operation A is equal to E. Uh, e is an identity element, uh, then A inverse is called your inverse element of A. So how to recognize uh, the one is the inverse of another means operation. After operation, the result should be E. Well, their result okay, should be equal to identity element. Okay? Then only we can say they are inverse of each other. Okay. So for if okay group, if G satisfy okay, this axiom, then we can say G forms a group. Okay. Right. And uh, when G does not satisfy the does, does not form a group, okay. If any one okay, any one of them is not satisfy the group, then G is not going to form a group. So once again, let me recap, let me summarize. Uh, G, G is any non empty set. Let's suppose O be any okay operation. Then okay, G forms a group if G satisfies the following axioms. Following axiom means okay here, uh, closure axioms, associative axioms, identity axioms, and the uh, inverse axioms. These axioms are known as your group axioms. If all these four axioms are satisfied any G uh, under any operation, then G forms a group. Okay, then, then all right. Then we can say okay, G G is a group. Okay, all right. Now I think okay, you have a no problem. So to check okay whether the set satisfy uh, forms a group or not, you have to satisfy all these okay operations right one by one. You have to check firstly closure axiom and associative axiom, identity axiom and inverse axiom. If okay group satisfy all four axioms, then we can say group G forms a group. Okay, sorry, I think group G forms a G is any set. Okay, instead of G, you can take any S, A, B, it doesn't matter. All right. Now I'm going to tell you <laughs> finite and infinite group. It's so very easy finite and infinite group okay finite and infinite group so it depends on the number of okay elements right if we have if in a group okay there are finite elements then group is called your finite element right finite sorry finite group if g has infinite elements then we can say that he uh, group is infinite group okay okay all right for example if i take okay this one h is equal to your uh, 1 omega and omega square. Suppose, let's suppose, okay, H be any set of 1 omega, omega square, omega and omega square are imaginary cube roots of unity. These are imaginary cube roots of unity. <coughs> Sorry. And under usual multiplication, H forms a group, okay. 
एच फॉर्म्स अ ग्रुप आई विल टेल यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो के हाउ दिस फॉर्म्स अ ग्रुप बट दिस फॉर्म्स अ ग्रुप ओके ऑल राइट अंडर यूजुअल मल्टीप्लिकेशन ओके दिस फॉर्म्स अ ग्रुप एंड हियर द सेट एच हैज थ्री एलिमेंट्स फाइनाइट एलिमेंट सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज कॉल्ड योर फाइनाइट ग्रुप ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड योर फाइनाइट ग्रुप ओके सो फाइनाइट दिस इज कॉल्ड योर फाइनाइट ग्रुप सो सिमिलरली ओके इफ वी हैव इन एनी सेट इनफाइनाइट एलिमेंट्स then okay set is called okay your infinite group right then set forms a infinite group now i think you clear finite and infinite group the set having finite elements right in a group then we can say um, finite group then we can say uh, this one is a finite group just like oh, this is a finite group uh, if group has infinite elements then group is called okay your infinite group okay no order of a group okay order of group means okay number of number of elements right number of elements in a set right or uh, is called okay order of a group yeah number of elements okay instead of a set okay you can say in a group also you can say because your set is going to form a group definitely then that's why okay number of elements in a group is called your order of group order of group is uh, denoted by like this way order of group or <clears throat> this way also you can use okay and uh, order of group right so see okay order of group let me tell you here here how many elements okay this is a finite group 1 2 3 so here order of group is 3 in this case okay so what is the order of this group 3 just you have to count the okay, number of elements in a group right if if you have a group you know, 10 elements then you can say the order of a group is 10 or uh, if you have a three elements in a group then you can say order of a group is 3 order of group is clear now trivial group now i'm going to tell you the trivial group so trivial group okay trivial group a group is said to be a trivial group or uh, if a uh, group has only one only one element in another sense we can tell if order of group is one in this way also you can see the uk okay. a group is said to be a trivial group a group is said to be a trivial group if it has only one element right or you can say if order of group is one group is said to be a trivial group if order if its order is one one means only one element right so for example for example here suppose okay, h is equal to 0 right under usual addition means ordinary addition addition forms a group so you can check okay it satisfy closer axiom is satisfy associative axiom is satisfy identity axiom it satisfy inverse axiom now i will tell you in our uh, next video uh, okay how it shows okay i will um, explain okay how any uh, set we have to show forms a group all right so this under usual addition forms a group because it satisfy all four exam another one example let me take g is equal to here one one okay under ordinary multiplication ordinary multiplication as we do okay one times two 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 is a four this is ordinary multiplication ordinary multiplication under ordinary multiplication forms a group this also forms a group under ordinary multiplication it satisfy closer axiom associative axiom identity axiom and inverse axiom so that's why we say this is your trivial group two examples i have told you and they form a group so these groups are called okay trivial groups right because they have only one okay element right So now abelian group is also very easy abelian group when we can say group is a abelian all right if okay group satisfy all axioms 
or then we can say okay uh, so if any set okay with any operation from all axiom is said to be a group okay now in which case we can say the abelian group okay suppose okay g be a group okay right g be a group okay and let me okay g with operation let me tell you okay this be a group okay let this be a group okay right? and then okay g is set to or be abelian set to be abelian group abelian group if a operation b is equal to b operation for all a b belongs to g so simple so we can say okay if group satisfy commutative axiom this is also called the commutative axioms all right so it's a very easy okay abelian group when we can say group is a abelian group okay so a group satisfy this operation the operation b is equal to b operation a this property right if group satisfy this axiom also you can say this property then group is said to be the abelian group so what is this axiom and this is your commutative property okay what is this okay right so this is your commutative property okay abelian group a group is said to be a abelian group if it satisfy commutative property so i think now you understood all these things so uh, when your set with an operation forms a group right and uh, finite and infinite group so okay uh, let's summarize okay all these things and the group means satisfying okay four axioms non as a group axioms and closer axiom associative identity and inverse finite and infinite or uh, if group has a finite elements then group is said to be finite element group and uh, if group having infinite elements is called your infinite group order of group number of elements of the group is known as a order of group and trivial group if okay group is said to be a trivial group if group has uh, only one element and abelian group if group satisfy if group satisfies a commutative property then we can say a uh, group is abelian group so i think you understood if you have any problem you can uh, write on in comment box uh, so thank you very much for watching if you are newcomer please subscribe and don't forget to share it thank you very much bye bye